uses to convert food into energy. So here's glycolysis. We talked about some of these other pathways. We also talked about the central acid cycle or the Krebs cycle. That's one way. And then there's another pathway that's not on here called the electron transport chain. That's another way that our bodies are going to be able to convert the food that we eat into energy. And what's the energy currency that we use? What's the energy currency that we produce from these ATP? So these pathways are going to create ATP. That's the energy currency that our body is going to use. Okay. So we are only taking one part of this big process of how our body creates energy and we're focusing on it. What were the other two pathways that we talked about where our body can create energy? The Krebs cycle, good. And what was the other one? The electron transport chain, very good. So again, we are gonna focus in on, for our, for our project, we are only gonna focus in on one of those. We're gonna focus on glycolysis. So what I want you guys to do is create your project on how the process of glycolysis works. You can be creative, as creative with that as you like, but I wanna make sure that you walk away with the basic science concepts that you need to understand from that, okay? So I have a question. Can your body use proteins in the form that we eat them in? Can we use that right away? You think so? Okay, do you, do you think so? Okay, why not, not right away? Yes, it needs to be broken down, they're too big. Again.